Hey guys, it's Dax. Welcome back to Hurricane's Tale. Uh, Currently, you may notice a few differences. One, the hopefully uh, the audio quality is uh, better. I'm hoping. <laughs> and secondly, you'll notice I do not have a face cam running. Um, decided that the face cam wasn't really something that was necessary. Uh, Given the fact that I run on a, a low-end laptop, uh, it was taking up some computing power, and quite frankly, it, my, my face isn't needed on the video. So, <laughs> what do we got planned for today? Um, let's see. I was kind of... Oh, we got all those new armors. We should probably build those. Um, and the other thing I want to try doing is once we get those armors done, I want to take a, a little tour, as it were, into, uh, see, see how fighting spiders goes and maybe check out, check out that cave. So, uh, without further ado, uh, I'm going to get farming some, uh, hide and iron and, uh, hopefully get the, uh, the armor done. We'll check back in with you in a bit. All right, so we got the uh, the rest of the armor made up. Um, let's see what she looks like. I'm just worried about my heat uh, in this armor. Ooh, I like it. Looks pretty badass. An actual set of boots, nice. And even though we don't like wearing helmets, where's my gloves? I crafted them. I leave them in the... Ooh. Actually, that was kind of neat. Uh, there they are. Okay. So, let's see what uh, these gloves look like. Alright. I wish there was a, a better way of telling what your heat was like. Um, so, let's take a look at the cam here. Pretty bad eggs. Um, don't know if I have enough to do any dyes. To, uh, definitely, uh, it's gonna be a while before I can outfit a lot of my guards in this crap, uh, or not crap, in this new armor. It's, walking around in that uh, vanity cam is kind of hard, but I'm not supposed to walk around in it. Would be my take on that. Okay, so let's show this stuff in here. Let's go see. Yeah, see, look at the heat. It is now yellow. I'm not sure. It used to be white. Now it's yellow. Uh, maybe I just need to drink something. Uh, yeah, I was. There we go. Now we're starting to. Nighttime, it's starting to cool down. Uh, the temperature gauge is back to right again. Um, oh, we were checking out dyes. Okay, so I got some water-filled uh, flasks. We can do some some of our green dyes. Uh, whoops. That did not do what I wanted. Okay, I need that and green. Green! Alright, just plain old... Ah! What do we got? We got... Water orbs. Water orbs don't actually belong in there. Uh, water filled glass. We have seven. We, we can do. The olive green can, can wait. We're just going to do all five as that. And then uh, we'll dye up the armor a little bit. And. I don't think I'm going to bring anybody with me to try and take on the spiders. I think I'm just going to go over by myself, test out the water, see how tough they are to kill. Um, because carrying somebody over there is actually kind of problematic for me. Uh, it's not easy. I'm going to not do that this time. Oh, uh, did I not craft it? Oh, I forgot to turn it on. you got to turn this on before you can craft. There we go. 
It's like, why aren't these things freaking crafting? There we go. How many pieces do we have? One, two, three, four? Four. Let's take a look at what we got. So, we got the medium cap. We're going to dye that. So this would be the... It's kind of interesting looking. I like it. I like it. Save that. Um, we already got dye on that, so we did gloves. We're going to dye gloves. Ooh, these are a little harder to see. I should zoom in a little bit. Just the fur line would be green. Shirt. Um, this, this looks good. Buy it, I guess. Whoa. Okay, we got a little bit of... Okay, that's the trim. Let's go back to the original color. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like it a lot. Save that. And uh, there you go. And I'm all dyed up. Ready to rock and roll. Um that's my food and drink. I just filled those up. So we can uh we can go over as soon as daytime comes around. Don't really need the trawl taker because I got no spaces for anybody. The uh, things are all filled up. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to get a storm here. Don't think so. So we're going to head over to the beach over there and hopefully we'll find ourselves uh, some spiders to kill. And if it's uh, going well enough, then we will uh, we will definitely we'll definitely try out the cave. All right, so we are over on the beach. We are going to try and find ourselves we're going to try and fight a rock donkey right off the bat here, as long as he's not engaged with hyenas already, which he probably is. Yeah, he's fighting the, the hyenas over here. I should just let him kill each other, and I probably will. Yeah, look at that, our heat is just... <laughs> Gotta be constantly drinking water here, I think. Ooh, there's another one. Ah! Ooh, crippled. They're going to be adding in some new mechanics for uh, skinning. You'll have to, if, depending on what you want to get off of them, if you want uh, meat, you're going to use a different tool if you're going to. So if you're skinning for hide, you'd be using a uh, skinning knife. If you're uh, looking for meat, you would use a cleaver type thing. It's, I don't know. I think it's added complexity that doesn't need to be added, uh, in my opinion. But that's their call. So the pirates are fighting something. We're heading up towards the cave. I'm going to try cooling off a little more. Uh, what's our health at? Health is fine. We're gonna eat oh, no, we're not. I did not put it on my... There's a spider. Whoa! That was surprisingly easy to kill. 
It never used to be that easy to kill, guys. Trust me, that spiders were a royal... Oh, we're very hot. Uh, we need to get inside here soon. Extremely hot. Here's the cave. Whoa. One down. Using, uh... Oh, I'm down. I'm down. Okay, so... <laughs> but look at that heat. I was having heat stroke. So that... And in fact, it was the heat stroke that killed me. Uh, it was not the spiders. It, uh, it notified me when I woke up on my bed that you were killed by yourself. So, we got to go back and get our stuff. Um, there is a... I don't know. They, they said they added some properties to certain items. And I had... A long time ago, I picked up an item and I never used it. This right here. Sandstorm Breathing Mask. Uh, armor value 9, so it's probably less than my armor. Very, um... If this is what this means, it's very low heat. So it could be... It is a light armor. Let's see what it looks like. Whoops! I just put it back in the box, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, so we're going to try and wear it. Equip. You said equip. <coughs> okay, from the back it looks okay. Um, and then you got like a... It's, it's generally used for sandstorms. But what we're going to do is we're going to wear it instead of the helmet and see if that brings our heat down enough so that we're not going to kill ourselves. Um, we'll try. These are for dyes. Orange ficus. So yeah, I believe that's to make a dye. And they're they litter the the, the bottom there. Man, are we gonna be able to make it to our items? I I honestly don't believe we will be able to. <laughs> I'm kind of being goofy here by going back, <coughs> but that is. That is what it is, you know. Somehow I stumbled my way home after uh, dying naked, leaving my armor behind. Maybe we should uh, grab some more spare armor and stuff. Nothing to even. I should have at least grabbed some ambrosia. Or something. I have to we'll fight hand hand. Okay, so we got the sandstorm mask, and you can see it's it's got an effect on me in the top left hand corner. There. I'm not sure what the effect is. Figure I cut the deaths out a lot. I figured I'd keep this one in here because it was kind of. Um, but yeah, you can see I'm not running near, like, without any armor, I'm not running any heat here, but I am going to get one shot by these spiders, probably. Um, I don't know if I can make it to my corpse. Very hot. So this area here, doesn't matter what you wear. Okay, we're just going to take all and 
I'm not even going to stick around. I'm just gonna rush my ass this way and try ooh, okay. yeah. make it back to the water because we are overheating big time and I don't want to uh, die of heat exhaustion again or a heat stroke again so I'm wondering if maybe I have to bump survive a lot maybe to handle the desert a little better we were killing the spiders fine. Like, I, I wasn't having a problem with the spiders at all. So... It was just that heat stroke. Um, so let's get our gear, put it back on. Uh, we're not going to wear that. Yes. We may have to go back to light armor, because this is just to, um, let's get the bar looked after, uh, and we're going to put food and water on the bar as well. So, let's uh, take a drink, get the food in us, reset. Alright, we're dumb. We're going to try it again. I want, We made it right to the mouth of the cave. That's that's what the piss off is. is we actually made it there. We just need to be able to... Um, get our way inside without dying. Full health. So now it's just going to be a matter of... Uh, getting inside the cave. I believe once you're inside the cave, the heat goes down. So... So we're just going to... You know what? We're just going to run inside the cave. We're going to... We're going to drink a little bit, try and get cooled down. We are extremely hot. Okay, we are inside the cave. There should be a spider here somewhere. We're inside the cave, which shouldn't be heat stroking anymore. Hell. Oh, something's back. Gaining corruption. So this is a. Uh, I think there's a boss over here. We're still heat stroking. I don't understand why. Okay, it's going down now. Uh, I don't know if that's just from the water we drank. Extremely hot, very hot. We have to cool down again. We're still on the cool down timer, so I don't think... I think it just refreshes the timer if you drink again right now. But anyways, there's stuff in here you can get, such as... I believe this is brimstone. Yeah. Brimstone in here. So, reset that. We're gonna take a peek inside, see what, see what we got. There's a spider. Blossomer, Icker. I know I needed Icker for a green dye. Hey. Alright, uh, what else do we got? There should be more spiders here, and I know there is. I know there is. These aren't mineable, are they? No. Okay, we are still suffering from heat stroke. I thought that went away when you were in the cave. I honestly did. Um, so we are... I, I think we definitely need to uh, pack more uh, more water with us, for one. Oh, hey. This is what we came here for, guys. Right here.
look at all that iron and that's from like most of the time we get our iron from killing pirates like the only time we've gotten iron is from killing pirates we just made enough to probably how much, how much can I carry? Uh, like what's weighing me down here drop that drop that Hundred and twenty six iron off that alone. So yeah, this is very lucrative. What the fuck was that? Did you guys hear that? Uh, oh. Damn. Okay, I thought I saw something over there. But I heard something. That that was But I don't think we're gonna be able to do much in the way of uh, Well, that's the end of this trip because we don't have any. Ooh, we are encumbered. What can I get here? Uh, drop the bone. We don't need water. Tell you the truth, we don't need water. Those, those are mostly PvP for putting out fires and stuff that we need. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, we're, we're below. We are just going to rush our ass out of here and try and make it home. Oh man, this is going to be terrible. No, there was an iron node right there too. But we didn't come with a, a good pick for one. Okay, so we're very hot. We're going to put away the bow and we're just going to hustle our ass back to water because we are going to die if we do not. Here, let's see. And let's hope, hope upon hope that no dogs decide to make us lunch or a rock donkey because I don't have yeah we're, we got heat stroke right now we got to make it to the water okay extremely hot it's going down it's going down and we've got light corruption so that is something to note go into one of those caves you're gonna start getting corruption and not sure exactly what it does it uh, it affects your health uh, and uh, stamina you can see there's that purple bar there uh, inside the stamina, I'm pointing to it. Okay, at the top, you see your, your health, top left, you see health, stamina, and water, food, XP. Health and stamina have been affected by the corruption. You'll see a purple area there, and that is temporarily gone until you can get rid of the corruption. That is what that means. So, we are going to go home, we're going to stand by our dancer. Ooh, what is that? That doesn't look orange. Um, let's go back into first person. Can I pick it up? I can. Orange Ficos. Okay. Didn't look orange. What about you? Orange Ficos. Okay, so I guess uh, maybe one's a young version of the plant. Okay, where are we going? So I don't know if um, switching down to the sandstone mask helped any. It might have, the sandstone mask there. Um, we'll have to see. We may have to mix and match armor sets uh, just to determine uh, what's best in this, this zone. <coughs> okay, we're going to cut off. So yeah, I've only been standing here for a couple seconds, and you can already see he's already taken away all of... The Dancer has taken away all of the corruption. Um, I have been noticing that the... Oh, and we're going to check out... Um, we got some Ikor, and I know there was a die that required Ikor. Uh, it was uh, Cursed Green or something like that. So we're going to check that out. Throw the Ikor in there. Icker, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, green. And yeah, I know you guys are probably getting sick of me doing green. But... <laughs> My color. What can you do? What we could do is we could start putting, uh, make that kind of a uh, the city guard. Which one is it? Uh... There it is, right there. What is that dark green? Cursed green dye. Okay, well we're gonna craft. Let's go ahead and craft two of them. Um, we're going to check out what this is. 
We're probably gonna die. Wish there was a, a way for me to see how much heat we were running. Keep on forgetting on this one. Turn it on before we start producing uh, what you need. Okay, we're out of uh, water filled glass flasks, so. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, we are gaining a lot of heat. Uh, die. So if we, we want to get rid of the red, because red is not our color, of course. So we're going to actually that up. Oh, wait, I think I just used regular green. No, that's the cursed green. To move on a bit here. We're definitely going to need to mix and match our armors uh, and get a better. I like that first green. That first green. It's almost black. I wonder what the medium harness would look like. With like the leather turned to cursed green. Mm, I like that. I like that. Save that puppy up. Oh yeah. Who's a badass? I'm a badass. I'm a badass. Okay. Yeah, uh, we gotta turn that off. I like that armor now. That looks pretty sad. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, um, we gotta figure out what's gonna keep our heat down here, because we're overheating. We need to... Okay, uh, let's take a look and see what each one is for armor value. So, armor value on this is 13. Armor value on this is 9. So we're losing 4, but that's, you know, that's okay. I believe this one's the big one that we're going to need to keep. Uh, armor value 22. Armor value 6. So I think if we get rid of... Possibly, if we keep those two. And we take the light on the feet in the... In the let's try that out. Uh, I think I put it in the chest. So... Why can't I wear it? Oh, I gotta. I can't do it from there. I probably have to do it from here. Anyway, there we go. And then the gloves. Okay. Can you see what that looks like? It doesn't look as cool. Um. But, you know what? It doesn't look half bad either. <clears throat> um, let's look at armor values. Armor value 2 versus... So we're only losing 4 there. And... 4 there. So, nothing too terrible, I don't think. Um, so what I'm going to do is I don't know if these guys can die of overheating. I'm gonna upgrade our uh, level three fighter here. Give him that. Whoops. Yes, you could be wearing my colors for a short time. There you go. And uh, we'll give him that. There you go. You're badass. I don't think they can die of heat exhaustion. That's why I'm doing this, so. Might as well have them able to take a hit. All right. So, medium and light. Whoa. Why do I still have medium? Didn't I give? Oh, I gave him a hell. Uh, yeah, you gotta give him. You gotta give him his gloves too, man. Stop being cheap. 
And as you notice, the heat on me is now actually bearable. Um, we're doing okay. So that's what, that's probably what we're going to run with for now until I... I don't know if maybe if I get more survivability. Maybe, oh, no, it's going up again. Interesting. All right. Uh, that could just be normal. Uh, it seems... Yeah, see, it's... Oh, it's because I'm in shelter? And then... Okay, I'm in... Not in shelter. Let's get out of shelter and see what happens. Okay, we're not in shelter now. Trying to figure out this heat mechanic is, is kind of a pain. I wish they could make it a little more uh, readable, but it's all right. I guess this is this is what you you go through. I wish I'd just tell you somewhere where it says, okay, this is what your uh, your heat is, and this is how much this affects it, instead of being all vague. All right. We need to get our stuff. Uh, we're going <laughs> to smelt our iron and... Uh, did we get iron... Hold on. Did we get iron uh, pike? Did we Did we learn that one? It wouldn't be in here anyways. It would be in the blacksmith if it was. No, we did not. Uh, well, not a big deal. All right. Turn that puppy on. So that's that's about 75 iron in just those few rocks that we got to smash. That is amazing. Uh, I need some wood. Alright, well, we're gonna go and uh, grab some wood. Oh, so pretty by the fire. Uh, so, we, oh, there was one thing in here. Uh, that I noticed that our carpenter learned how to build. Or uh, maybe I learned how to build. We can build like a double bed, which is kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and build one. And we'll put that in the main room of, uh, of the inn there and change out our spawn point. Because, you know, it's it's the it's the luxury suite at the pub. We need uh, like a tavern. We need, uh, we need a king-size bed in there. A uh, double-size bed, anyway. Needs to, needs to be able to entertain. <laughs> Let's go, uh... Oh, crap. I did, oh, I did grab it. Sounds like we're getting attacked by something. My guys... Yeah, my guys got it handled. Not too worried. See, this is... That's the, the benefit of it, is that... Turn that to the inventory. And we'll put it in... We'll just put that one in another room. So we're gonna. Oh, look at that, man! Holy crap! That takes up a lot of room, but that's okay. That's okay. Right there, bam! And that belongs to. Oops. There we go. Spawn point updated. Look at that, man! Wow, it's gorgeous. Okay. Definitely need like shelves and stuff. End tables. It's not, oh, we were gonna we we're gonna put the other bed away. Place. Just slowly decorate the place um, so that it looks like what it's supposed to look like. So this should, I'm hoping, fit in there. Might not fit in there. Er, oh. We might not be able to use beds for this. No, oh, there we go. There we go. Just enough room for a bed. That's all these inns would ever have, anyways. And that would actually even be a cozy room. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to go get the iron and some leather and fix my... I think it's leather. I believe it's leather. And fix my pick and my axe. I can get her to make me a new hunt. Okay, one of the other things I found out that I had is actually a Kudo head trophy. I, I didn't know it was actually a trophy uh, and not just a head, so I put it in here, but apparently I grabbed one. So, 
We're going to put that in there. I mean, we didn't earn it, but waste not, want not. Don't have to earn one now. Might have to create one just for the achievement, but... You know what? Let's uh, get in here and we're going to go to first person. Let's play this out. Ooh, let's see. Medium size. Center it. There we go. We're starting to get a collection going. Okay. So we are ready to go and try and. <laughs> oh, crap. Um, I was going to say, I'm going to go and try and get, grab some more um, dudes, but. Oh, hey, this one's almost done. Nordheimer Archer 2. We should really work on stretching the wall, I guess. Um, there was something I had an idea to do. Because that corner in the back is all screwed up. Um, I have an idea for kind of making... And I guess it's, it's not that great of an idea. But. And the other, the other thing was is that I wanted a, a place for people to be able to get up onto the wall, aside from the uh, barracks. So, let's, uh, let's head down over here. In this, whoa! In each corner, I think I'm going to put in, and because I, I need to remake this wall anyways, in each corner I'm going to put kind of a guard house. So, it'll be hollow on the inside with, with the stair, staircase going up. It'll be like a place for the guards to eat their meals and stuff up top. It'll extend out probably one higher than the, the wall itself. And it'll probably be, I don't know, it depends on what I need to make the staircase go. I don't know what I'm going to need. But, oh man. Probably going to have to come out all the way to this wall. Would be my guess. And then the guards would have another place to to uh, go back to their positions. And I would have another place to deploy another guard. Um, and then there'd be one in this corner. Um, this is only coming out, I think, one more. And then there'll be the wall. Like, we are... We're coming close to being enclosed, which is, is kind of cool. <coughs> um... So yeah, we're going to gather some rock, um, maybe work on that a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to start working on the, the corner piece just yet. I'm going to extend our walkways out to where they need to be, uh, for one. Um, I want to have a way for guards to get out onto the, uh, the next area without running around the whole thing. Although it's kind of neat right now to have that because the beasts have to run all the way around and it, these guys are getting a bunch of free shots on them. So, there is that. But, yeah, we're going we're gonna to grab some sandstone and some, and some, uh, some lumber and we're going to start making some foundations. Okay, so we got the orange ficus or ficus or whatever that's called. This stuff here from out of the water. I know it's for dyes, so let's see what kind of dyes we can make with that. Uh, desert berries and highland berries, so can't make that for a while because we got to be able to get to the highlands first. Uh, ash dye. Resin. True indigo. Seeds. Uh, oh. Uh, it's for brown dye. So we can uh, make brown dye out of seeds, that's cool. Uh, desert berries, we can make Sumerian blue, which eh, not a big thing. First green that way. Glowing goop. Not sure where we get that from. Dark dye colorant and ash dye. So we're looking for stuff that uses this stuff here, orange fibers, which I'm guessing Dark orange, but oh, nope, we probably want regular orange. Dark yellow. Dark red. 
Light orange. Yeah, that'd be light guy color. Uh, red dye. What is red dye to? Cockney. Where do those come from? Cockney. Uh, tan dye. Resin. Tar. See, red dye I would like uh, for one of my guys to. Midnight blue flower. A lot of resin. There we go. Uh, so it just makes orange dye. Uh, I don't have any water flasks on me at the moment. Uh, doesn't look like I can make just glass flasks. Ooh, hey, rescue water orb. Cool. Didn't know I could do that. Uh, if I wanted, can I do glass flasks in here, or is that done somewhere else? Okay, so it's not done in here. Where would a glass flask be created? If I had to guess, it would either be the artisan's bench, and I might not have it yet. Maybe there's a uh, glass glass skill that we need to get. Nothing in there. Here, maybe? Uh, there's no. Glass flask mold. Okay. I need 15 iron bars. Do I have any left or do I have to go? Got one there. I just made a bunch of. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so if I want to make one of these, craft that up. Oops. Come on. Wrap that up. Steal That's cool. So we're going to make a glass flask and we're going to figure out how we do this. Um, again, most of this stuff is... I haven't played for quite a while, so most of this stuff is pretty new to me. The dyeing system. It's all pretty new to me. Um, oh, this can be dropped. Okay, so we got a glass flask mold. So now what do we do? Take it. Uh, more info. Due to their need for somewhere to store volatile concoctions, alchemists are usually proficient in the art of glass creation. Okay, so we probably take this over to the... Okay, okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's go over here. I need an alchemist to do this. Okay. If I put this in here, doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, Use for creating flasks. Oh, my dumbass! My a dumbass. I don't think they would be making the. Probably be. Well, it wouldn't be there. It might be here. Put that in there, and then maybe I have some glass in the uh, in the vault, so we're gonna go and uh, grab some just regular glass out of the vault. Glass. There it is. Let's see what happens. Because you might need to. Oops. Forge or the furnace, 
You just put stuff in, and if it can make something, turn it on. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you put it in the forge or the furnace. And you can make a glass flask. I'm not sure how much it costs. Looks like it might cost five glass. No? Okay. Again, Why am I not able to turn this back on? I guess there's nothing to make. Not sure how long a mold lasts. It probably has a duration. Why can I not turn that back on? There we go. It only builds one at a time. I don't understand this. Why is it only building one at a time? Because I only have one mold, would be my guess. It's a little glitchy. Not liking that. I mean, you only craft one at a time anyways, so... But it, it crafted three of them for us. We can go and fill those up with water. Uh, we can get the orange dye. The whole reason I'm doing this is because I want to start color coding my, my dudes so we can tell them apart from the... Well... If anybody came on, they would be able to tell them apart from the distance uh, by their their uniforms. Like the archers, they're only going to wear light armor. Um, well, until we get further into dangerous territories, they're going to wear light armor. Uh, my dude, my short and seal, sword and shield guy, you notice, is in full medium armor. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to dye his stuff orange so I can see him easier from a distance. Um... And, you know, um, maybe these guys would be a different color, like the bruisers. And the archers would be a different color. You know, so on and so forth. But, uh, I digress. We are going to come over here. Uh, we're going to go fill up our glass jars. We're going to make some orange dye. <coughs> and then we are going yeah. to... Try... And, uh, oh, I should have filled up water. I need to make a new water flask. So I have two of them on me at all times. Because that, going into that cave, if we're going to be doing that on a regular basis, which I'm probably going to do now, because it's a lot quicker than having to clear out the pirate camp, especially when I've already got all my thralls here um, and they're training. There's no point for me to go over to the pirate, well, except for experience the fun, but it would be easier for me to go into the cave, grab as much iron as I could out of there, and it would take less time, I think. Plus, I want to fully explore that cave. Like, we didn't make it very far in there, I don't think. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff in there that we missed. Okay, um, so I know it makes orange dye, so let's take a look at that one. Orange dye. So we got this is the, just the regular orange dye. And we have a light orange dye, which we could make light dye color. Dark. What is that? Orange. Oh, colorant. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, so we'll do three three of the orange dye, and we'll see. Because uh, this stuff is easy to come by. I just gotta go swimming, and we could probably grab 10, 20 easy in like two minutes it wouldn't it wouldn't be hard um oh i gotta turn i don't remember to turn this one on i keep on forgetting um so yeah uh we're gonna go ahead and turn this over here Get this on the bar we're just waiting for our last die there we go and then we're gonna come over here um, what should we start with? We'll start with his cap. 
Hey, buddy. You need to borrow your hat for a second? Thank you. All right. Let's see what... My... Well, we want to get rid of that green. I think that looks pretty... Pretty neat. What if we did both of them in that? Oh, that wasn't what I thought it was. Okay, so let's uh, return that to the original. What was that that got died? Oh! Uh, these cross pieces here. That's kind of neat. That you can color those. Uh, you know what? I like it. Uh, what about the... What about that? What? I think it looks... It was expensive. Cost us three eyes, but I think that looks pretty... Pretty, uh... Pretty nifty. But as I said, we can get that FICO's in there. Uh, finding the glass for the glass flasks is actually really the harder part of it. Ooh, yeah! I like it. I like it. It's not, um... It's more of a brown, in my opinion, than a than a. Let's let's go into first person and look at this guy. It's more like a brown than an orange, but I like it because it is not. It doesn't. It stands out, but it doesn't stand out. It, it can really, it's, it's kind of nondescript. Anyways, uh, that's kind of where what I'm thinking with with uh, my my guardsman is to start. Like, we're going to have to, for her, she's going to need all medium gear. She's going to need a better shield. The only way I'm getting these iron shields, though, or whatever, what, what is that one, was because I teamed him and he had it on him. So, iron tard. It's the only reason I have that shield. And the only reason I have that sword is because we looted it off a pirate. So we're going to still have to do that. Um, but yeah. Same with the Iron Warhammers. I don't know how to make those yet. Uh, the only way to get them is, for me right now, is through... Is this guy ready yet? He is, so we can actually go pirate hunting. Yeah. See if our, our level 3 dancer <laughs> still hates us. Uh, she hates us. She won't show up. Actually, I wouldn't mind the named dancer. I'm pretty sure I've seen her pop up over there. Okay, for you... Since we extended this out a little bit, we need to move her closer. No, do we? Really? No, we can put these guys right on the corner of the uh, feast area. They'll move. Won't they? I think they will. They know how to move. Their legs aren't broke. Okay. Uh, we'll put this dude on this side. Right there, and then he can help push these little buggers back for now. Um, and I probably do have the armor for, or a lot of the armor for him, just kicking around. I'm just going to leave him with the crossbow, even though I don't like him all that much. Uh, interesting fact. Apparently, uh, I don't know if it's it's true. Well, actually, I shouldn't say interesting fact, because I don't know if it's true. Um, I was watching the stream, the dev stream, uh, earlier for Funcom, and uh, Joel, the writer, uh, and uh, I think he's the lead project designer, uh, or something to that matter, brought up an interesting fact. There's only one comic ever where there's been a cross, one Conan comic ever where there's been a crossbow involved. There's never, ever. No one's ever seen a crossbow in a Conan, uh, aside from once. Town Guard had it, and that was it. I thought that was kind of a little... He's kind of a goofy looking bugger. Take a look at this guy. <laughs> nice makeup. All right. We're gonna we're gonna help you out. We're gonna, we're gonna dress you a little better. I can even wear my colors. There you go, buddy. What level was this guy? 
Is he a level three or is he a level two? He's a level two. Okay, cool. We'll get you. Uh, we'll get you some new gear here shortly. But yeah, um, I'm going to outfit all my archers in light armor because they should never be getting into physical contact with the enemy anyways. That's that's the hope, right? Like right now, these guys are on the forefront here, but in order for a turtle to actually get to them, it has to run all the way around the outside, and by that time, it's been shot by, you know, four or five different guys, and then these guys will aggro to them, and they should never reach the archers is my hope um but yeah we are going to head on over and uh see if maybe there's a dancer available uh i know the rest of the uh the trolls aren't near taming yet so we can really finish about them we're gonna eat or drink a couple of things This on the board. All right. So I'm gonna go and see if I can find myself a dancer. Uh, my private dancer. Come on, break into Tina Turner. <laughs> All right. So once again, unlucky. We uh, we did not get a level three dancer. Uh, or, well, level three female dancer. We actually had a level three male dancer, which we we declined his application. Um, <laughs> we've got enough level three male dancers. Um, what we did find, however, was a level three archer. So that's awesome. We'll bring him back, start him training, um, and yeah, yeah, he'll be. Uh, up on the wall eventually. Okay, so we are just uh, putting stuff away um, and then we are going to head over to. I'm just going to throw some rock in here. Some wood in here. And we are going to uh, head back to the spider cave. Uh, as you can see, I made myself a, a new sealed, I uh, repaired as much as I could, and I uh, made a new sealed water skin. And hopefully that'll help us uh, get there and stay hydrated and not overheat. Uh, hoping. So we're topped up. Um, yeah, it's getting dark, though. We're going to wait till morning, I think, um, to head in there. Yeah, we're going to wait till morning, and then we'll head in and uh, see how that goes. Okay, so we are on our way. Oh, shit, we're heading to Long Island here. We're heading towards the wall. <laughs> Watch where you're going, Dax. Um, yeah, we're on our way to the spider cave. Hopefully, hopefully this time we can uh, stay a little longer. Um, is, our, is our hope. I'm just going to pop up on water before we leave and get ourselves cooling down. Right now our heat's manageable. We're just going to watch our stamina here. We don't want to get too carried away. Hopefully we can skirt the edges here and not aggro too much. Nope. Alright. Really need to hide, but I don't want to... Oh. Okay, that's... Hey, Rock Duncan. Yeah, I know you saw me. Whoa, that was off. Woo. You missed, bitch. Oh, that thing. Jeez, I'm missing a lot, right? Oh. Okay. 
need some brimstone. Oh, crystal. Uh, I'm not sure what that's used for, but I would guess probably for the alchemist uh, or the... Uh... Well, I guess it's alchemy. Uh, the fireball cauldron and whatnot would be my guess. Uh, we're going to head up and see if we can take care of these spiders. Go ahead and cool down a little bit. Yeah, we are starting to pick up heat fast. There's a spider. Let's see if we can. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Yeah. You were poisoned. Awesome, you're just gonna be pretty important to us. Uh, we're just going to regenerate and we're going to take that. Take two. We are regenerating our health before we move forward. I don't want to. Oh, I think we, we aggroed one. Only takes one arrow, but man. Okay, we need to get inside. We are. Okay, we're running inside. We're not gonna wait. So it's one aim shot will kill him. Not not the quick shot. Quick shot one. We are poison six. That is dangerous. That is very dangerous. Damn it! Okay. We gotta let these poisons wear off. Another one close by. Gaining corruption, that's fine. Damn, we've almost gone through our entire uh, first water stem. The fact that we can't carry a whole ton of stuff is actually hurting us here. Drink some water. Okay. Uh, we're cooling down, gaining corruption. We don't seem to be poisoned anymore. So that purple around the screen, I think that's just gaining corruption. I was thinking it was blood, but I think that's just us gaining corruption. But we gotta remember that our health and stamina pool go down while we're corrupted. So we can't take as many hits as we could a few minutes ago. Oh, sounds like we got a sandstorm outside. Inside. Why is it not counting us in the shelter? It's, uh... I don't really need brimstone. Anymore. I can't really do much with steel. I mean, it doesn't hurt. I'm in a sandstorm right now. I don't know why it's blowing through the cave, but 
what it is. Oops. We don't need the hatchet. We need the. Uh... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Dang, okay, got that one. Is that the only one? Okay, poison four. Let's uh, be careful. That going, we'll get some regen going. You definitely want to take your time when you're coming through here if you can. Because that poison, if it stacks up to ten, you're dead, no matter what. You know, it's. Uh, Nice. We are over encumbered and we are attacked. I hear another one close by. Also, hear something else. Whoa! You got a spitter. Okay. Poison tea, we're going to regen. see what we got for stuff we can get rid of. You can drop that. We're still at 106. You know what? We don't need brimstone yet. Drop that. We don't need stone. Well, we do need the stone, but the iron's more important right now. So. We need to switch this to our hot bar. So that we have more than one. Look at all that iron. Man, this is so much better. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like hunting pirates, but. Looks like there's another one. Up there. I'm just trying to trying to figure out. Is there anything else you can use? Alright, you know what? These must be the big oak. I don't think they act. I don't think you can actually go in these little caves. They're like the little spider dens type thing where they come out of. Yeah. Oh! oh. So as you can see, you can you can kind of see the corruption a little better. We stayed a little longer in the cave that time, so we got a little more corrupted. Um, so you'll be able to see as I go near the dancer here um, how fast the dancer can, uh, a level three dancer can cure your uh, corruption. And you can see it going. And looks like I am totally uncorrupted. All right, <laughs> uncorruptible. Um, so yeah, we got about 400 iron there. That was sweet. Definitely a lot better than what we would get for the same amount of time hunting pirates. I'll tell you that much. So we'll get that going. Uh, the water did us fine. We went through a lot of ambrosia though because of those poisons. It was it was pretty pretty tough, honestly. Um, yeah, so it was a successful mission. I'm sad that I had to drop a bunch of stuff in order to run back here, but I, it's the way it had to be. Um, wouldn't mind taking one of these guys with us, except for the fact that I think those poisons would just tear them apart. And the fact that I, I'm not sure if, if combat for them is actually working when they're on follow. All right, I will uh, be back in a bit. I gotta go for something.